This is such a ridiculous concept, by the way. Six plus size people <laughs> versus one fake. I like how they're called a fake. Fake. If, yeah, you yeah, just fake plus size person. Bro. You're not fat. You're, you're fake. fake plus size. You're a fake. You're not. You're not thin, by the way. You're not thin. You're fake plus size. You're a faker That's baker. A fire, I don't really wear jeans, but I think the only two pairs that I own are from Shein. I feel like it depends what style I'm going for. True. Like for fitted jeans, I definitely think like good Americans might go to. Obviously they're like on the higher end of like pricing wise. Being the confidence to actually wear <laughs> what you want, it took me forever. So when I actually did, I'm still in the mentality when I was like 16, 17 and I could fit in a medium. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, this I can't go to the same stores. Like right. I can't go to a mall and buy clothes anymore. I would say two years ago, I would go to like Goodwills and Value Villages, but that has become a lot harder as of late. The reason that I chose to do this was mainly because it meant a lot to me to share the idea of like, as you transition away from being in a bigger body to potentially being in a skinnier body, that is not something that like, makes you harder working or better at like achieving some sort of goal than the other person. Oh, so he used to be big? I, I think that's what he's saying here. He used to be big. That's what, that's, that's what I've been getting, but mm. maybe I'm just being dull. Uh, I, I, think, I still think this is a completely ridiculous concept. I don't know what's the point of this. How are they even going to figure it out? I guess this guy just has to pretend that, mm. oh, I saw, I show up at the Excel section. Life is hard for me. Like, I don't know what's, what's, how are they going to figure it out without seeing? Like, that's the one metric. So, like, I have heard that, like, at least buying clothes is hard. Like, if you're really skinny or really big, mm. like, obviously, these places are not going to really stock up the, the tails of the distribution. They're going to try and get the 95% and make mm. the most volume there because they're just going to start losing money at the tail ends. I've heard when you're, like, really skinny or really big, it's really hard, really harder and harder to get clothes. And, like, some people that are, like, really, really big, like, on these, like, TV shows and stuff, like, they have to get custom tailored clothes. Like, it is the hardest, most expensive thing. I think you're so talking that's about where the... TLC people, aren't you? The old TLC. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I like how you always take like a business approach to it. Just like, oh, they got to get the 95% revenue in there, you know? <laughs> got to appeal true. to it's the majority. True. It's true. <laughs> it is true, but <laughs> interesting. And going into it, I like promised myself I wasn't going to tell any lies. I was going to be very truthful and speak on every kind of experience that I had had leading up to today. I wanted to make sure that what I was saying was stuff that I lived through. I think putting on a character would be disrespectful to the other people that were here today. Oh, shut up. They paid you for the show, bro. I don't just. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, right. Bro's being his bag either way. Bro, I go on there and be like, just give me the money, man. Yeah. <laughs> just say I, the most heinous. They pay you to be on the show. Don't me, bro. I know how I it works. I just took most of my clothing and like I have a tailor for my pants anyway. Shout like back in, Yeah, a hundred percent. Especially when I'm back home, uh, I'm 15 minutes outside of New York City. So I usually just commute in there. There's this one thrift store. I don't know if anybody's been called the L train and like that is really good the for carrying. The L train? Back bro. in my actual hometown. I can go to my wait, wait, wait. This would be a lot more interesting if he wasn't ever like big because I feel like he knows all the answers. Like mm. this would be really interesting if you got like a skinny person who has always been skinny or like normal weight, right? Kind of mm. like average weight. And you had them try and guess what like it was like what the correct answer would be because mm. with this one it's like they're never going to guess because he's just going to say what his life what was his like actual when he experience was, like, there's was no way for them to tell them you know what mm. i mean mm -hmm -hmm. i don't think this could ever be interesting honestly it's like a five minute drive from my house okay so i thrift probably 90 percent of my clothing cheaper Fine. saves energy and like it feels way easier. There is no way he's gonna go pay like $15 for jeans, then go pay $45. Like I get it, as a plus size person, tailoring for some things, great. But I could not believe for a second that he is tailoring every set. And I was like- Is that fashion? What is going on? Is that, that jean is fashion right there? I never got the concept of ripped jeans. What is the point of this? Yeah. How is this fashion? It's just, you're wearing tattered clothes. How how did that ever become fashion? I don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, there's a lot of fashion trends where it's like you try and pretend to have like clothing that's a lot more beat up instead of just like having it beat up and like you pay a top dollar for it to be beat up. What? I, the, the, yeah, the, the, I, the, the, I, I could so I could take a pant and then I sell it for a hundred dollars, okay? And then New I tear I tear, idea. I tear it a little bit and now I sell it for five hundred dollars. Genius. That's what I'm saying. We buy jeans in bulk for twenty bucks each, shred them a little bit and just resell them for five hundred dollars each. It is a genius marketing strategy. What is genius. the average 
average IQ of someone who buys clothes. I just, I, <laughs> I think we need to do a survey, a little bit of a correlation, you know. I think we could get some real insights in here. There's a there's a new group of the population that buys this stuff. I Jesus. For a Dude, did, uh, you, we're definitely having another um, heels gate. I don't care. All right, listen, <laughs> people are going to be like, it's just their fashion choices. Well, I'm ridiculing your fashion choices, all right? I don't, like, you can ridicule mine. I don't care. Every Yeah, like, obviously, guys, we don't care. We just think, like, just buy the complete pant, you know? Oh, I care. Um, <laughs> I care. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys, trying to make it's it like entertaining he, here. He's not fat anymore. Not going to lie, shop at Ross a lot or Marshall's. I love this. I don't know any clothes stores ever. I don't know what the hell Ross is. I don't know what Marshall is. I just, I don't even know if there's a store. I go to the whatever store is in front of me, bro. I don't even know their name. And finding jeans is hard. Walmart. I, it's a hit or miss sometimes. Connor, you shop at Walmart? Uh, not, not really. More <laughs> of like a Costco Target guy. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know Critical gets his clothes from Walmart, right? It's is like white tee or whatever. No, wait, he doesn't spend $200 on the classic white t-shirt? That's crazy. That's crazy, Not a real bro. YouTuber, then. Not That's a real flexing. YouTuber. He needs, that, he needs a Supreme Box logo t-shirt. Disgusting. He doesn't have the ripped yeah. jeans. Fine. Either they fit your thighs and they don't fit your waist, or they fit your waist and they... It, it's a struggle. What what is this? <laughs> oh, they're voting for the okay okay. Only one person voted for the actual thin one. Oh. Bro. Yeah, but in all fairness, these questions like you 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 just can't tell. Yeah you know? yeah. What a you dumb know, concept. I guess invalidated in a point because they were talking about you know brands and you know and stuff that I can't really afford. So I thought my answer of oh I shop at Ross because that's what I could afford. I thought that's what kind of eliminated me. Aww. So I was gonna say if any of you guys. It's too poor to be like, big, guys. Too true. poor to be big. You gotta get that designer chunk. Designer <laughs> chunk. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kid, I know we were talking about how some of us were models before. Sorry about names, but how that affected you growing up, and how like the idea of performing and being on stage was definitely more difficult for you than your peers. That is an awesome question. Yeah. Well, you I, start since there. Yeah. 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 So I I was on the math team for my elementary school, which was like very fun and I enjoyed it a lot. But before our first meet, when we were doing practices and such, uh, they gave us the vest sizes. And I remember putting on the largest vest size that they had and it clinging to my skin and making me very uncomfortable. And I walked into the bathroom and I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, I can't do this and I quit. And it really Ooh. frustrated me that I let that take away something that meant a lot to me. That was definitely like my first experience with like, it is very difficult for me that outside elements are going to take who I am and make right. that mm -hmm. a form of a problem. As a woman in a plus size theater community, it's like, I always got the funny roles or the really unattractive so roles. And I'm like, I'm big. That doesn't mean I'm hilarious. Like, Girl, we could talk about this forever. Yeah, so that that's yeah. super powerful because performing and becoming into yourself, you either have to be overly confident and fake it till you make it or it will tear you down. So I'm very sorry that that happened to you. How do we all identify? Do we? I, I will say there's a lot of like in mainstream TV and stuff, there's a lot of these tropes that are just constantly reinforced. The, the butt of the joke always going to be the fat person, right? I don't know why yeah. they do that, yeah. but I guess mo more people just like to laugh at that stuff. But I feel like it could be yeah, done in a way. Like the, the unattractive like third friend who's mm. always like the one who's setting up like the in-between person like the, the the one that like the guy talks to like the that girl to get with her friend oh, yeah, the third wheel or yeah, that's whatever. like every movie i've ever seen i swear which at some point i'm like dang that's kind of that's that's kind of tough <laughs> it is annoying you said you start you know before when you're small you just watch these things and you enjoy them whatever is what it is ah look at the large person ah and then you grow up and you start to realize wait a minute this is messed up this is this yeah. ain't cool they're actually like you know directing it in a way to portray portray a certain message to society, you know? I don't wanna, okay, I said the S word. We're two down you the rabbit You said the S word, bro. I said the S word, but it's yeah, the man. S -word, bro. Damn. Treat people nicely, guys, come on. How do we all identify? Do we identify, like, what do we use? Um, to Wait, your name is V? Yourself? What? What? Yeah, that's, 
That's sounding like Elon Musk baby name right there. <laughs> you just see it came out of the womb, parents like, eh, well, mm, I, I think I'm going to start writing on the birth certificate. They're like, ah, screw it. I don't know. <laughs> just V, control V, control well, C. Is, I, I've heard like, I've heard like V is like a nickname, like for Veronica and for like name to start with yeah. V. Like people be like, oh, V or whatever, right? Oh, I but think, I've never heard of like V as like the actual name. I think it's a K-pop guy as well or a girl. I don't know. I've heard V a lot. Um, any K-poppers? I'm sure like 99% of you are K-poppers, bro. I can't. Anyways, what about A? Why not A? So if you P -H -A -T. have one. A T. Thank you. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I have a weird for feeling about that one for some reason. <laughs> really? I just I like just around. normal. Yeah. Because I'll yeah. say fat, and then people will be like, "Oh my god, fat!" And then I'll be like, "It's not inherently a bad oh, no. word. It's, not a taboo. it's an adjective." That's the, That's the thing. The no, but it is kind of taboo because oh yeah, I'm fat. Don't say that you're beautiful. I am. F Gorgeous, I but so I am fat. I didn't say I was ugly. Dude, it's, oh my god, yeah, bro. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I was People like, treat it like it's right, taboo, right. That, that's so the it's, issue, really. it's two yeah. truths. I'm like, exactly. yeah. I, I do, I feel beautiful, but I am fat. Being fat or plus size does not mean that we're not active, that we're not nice people, that we're not worthy. Like, worthy. It really sucks when people treat you differently because you're a size 18 rather than a size two or four. I like how ironic this is considering the video was titled plus size and not fat just because that would be offensive. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Did they? Did the editor or the person who titled the video not even watch the video? Yeah. Like, they're not even, like, listening to the input that these people are giving. So, I'm like, look, that is not a bad word. And then they're like, oh, no, we can't use that word. It is Twitter's literally... For us. It is literally ah! more offensive to say plus size than fat because then you're saying oh. fat is a bad thing and you're saying mm. that uh, it's uh, something to be looked down upon. So, we're going to title the video fat because we're mm. actually listening. Listening to them, yeah, okay? We're actually the most nice, nice to guy. everyone. Yeah. I'm like cut, which is a bunch of people that should be canceled, obviously. That's obviously, what we're trying to say. Obviously. Mm. Hey, like for example, oh great example. I went Halloween mm. shopping. Oh and it's God. really hard because, like, oh, for, first and foremost, trying to find the plus size costumes that are like, oh, it's just kind of integrated everywhere. Yeah. And it's like realistically, you have 200 costumes here, but only like 10 are for plus size. Then I go on to the other costumes and I was like, oh, my choice is to be like a duck or yeah, and, no, like exactly. the, 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 like plus, an the plus size yeah. nun, the plus yes, size the nun costume yeah. covered mm. boobs Ew. knees everything but the skinny yeah. costume for the, the oh. other nun was like tits out for yeah. 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 and i'm like so i literally like my choice is like be a bubble bath or a duck and yeah. i'm like i need a plus size <laughs> section when i yeah. walk into somewhere because we have not progressed in hu human society yeah. Yeah. there was this was, brand that you should use my strategy take a bed sheet and just wrap it around you you're a ghost all right, easy, easy peasy. Scare all the kids, go boo, ha, kid. Stock their houses and so, oh, just kidding. All like, right. that had this big campaign saying- Atavia? What, you have an apostrophe in your name? What? What are these? I've seen, I've seen some apostrophes in names. I've seen some apostrophes. The only apostrophe I've seen, D'Souza, or, or Charlie D'Amelio, or a random D things, right? But what are these names, bro? V, A, T, V, what? Bruh, bro. Okay, I, I I don't know if this name's that uncommon. The one letter, I've never seen a one letter name before. I will say. I've you haven't seen, seen a, a B? You haven't seen a Z? You ain't seen a <laughs> P, bro? Kind I've of seen like an X, O, whatever, like the Elon Musk baby name was, but, mm -hmm. um. <laughs> uh. And they were launching extended sizes. But I've seen a G though, the old G. Just, <laughs> just G? No, I'm kidding. But you know, you oh, call I people like, a G. You call people a G. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then it came out. <laughs> Shut oh, the no. f up. <laughs> Bro, she <What>? pissed. <laughs> Me? Yo, yeah, she oh was talking God. way too thin I mean, for their liking, man. Yeah. I am equally shocked. I, I just. Don't you know the chatty ones can't be plus size, obviously? One of Clearly. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Mm. I think the, mm. the odd one out is probably somebody who lived as a fat it person, used to be, yeah. but yeah. lost the weight. Oh, like, they're figuring it out. Woo! People that do grow up fat or you know, a go genius. through journey, they end up being He's more on that. fat phobic. Um, that's not so in it all off. cases. It's not in all cases, yeah. but it, it, like, it does happen a lot. Turning it on that, like I really do think that in my personal experience, people that go from being in a bigger body into like becoming skinny feel some sort of resentment, especially because I think they tie achievement to what they've done for some yeah. reason. Like there's this, there's this very big principle 
principle of like, look at what I've done. And they very yeah. they push this like American dream esque mentality of Honestly. like, yeah, like genuinely, exactly. like I worked hard and I did this. And it's like, well, not everybody and, wants to yeah, do that. And, like, not that's everybody fine. Like, that's well, I mean, you did work hard and you did do it, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't I don't necessarily see the the incorrect like wait like I don't know what the <laughs> hell you're saying. Is this presented as a bad thing all of a sudden? Uh, I I, I I think if you if you were a, a a larger person and you worked hard and you became thin and you're proud of it and you celebrate it as an achievement, nothing wrong with how, that. How how dare you? How dare you? How no, dare you, you be, be proud banned. of your effort you and your be hard work? And canceled and fired. Go back to sitting on the couch. Damn. You're a faker. You're a faker daker. All right. You fake yeah. person. Fake. Disgusting. Yeah. Deserve to be crucified for that one. Bro. That's for real. fine. If you want to lose weight, do that. But you don't need to like project that onto everyone else. Not and I would think if you were somebody who lived that experience you as a fat person, you would understand. Honestly, dating, um, I've, m I've met many guys who were like, I used to be big, so I understand that being smaller is more desirable. And it's just like this conversation just rubs me the wrong way because yeah, I'm, I've am i been met with so many people who think like that. Yeah. And like the worst person I dated was very fat phobic and they used to be bigger and they lost weight. The old fat phobic dropped that right. one, dropped that one like a bar. And they were like shaming me about my body, being like, you know, Red we'd fun. have better <laughs> if you were smaller oh, and all oh, that shit. Wow. Like, oh my God. No, this... That one might actually be fat yeah, phobic. That's a, little, that's a little crazy. I don't know. I don't don't know. Obviously, guys don't shame anyone for their, you know, physical appearance. Wait, that's... I don't understand. Why are you dating a fat person if you're gonna shame? Yeah, them? yeah, that's that's another thing. Like he he's self he's self sabotaging. Like at this point, like if you're so upset that someone is like overweight, why are you in a relationship? With, why are you in a committed relationship with them? Why did you enter that? Where did you enter that thinking, oh, I'm gonna change them? But... I, I, that's this guy's this little piece of advice from someone who is super experienced. Obviously, um, sarcasm or not, that's up to you. Never go in a relationship if you're like, oh well, yeah there's this whole laundry list of red flags but i can totally change them you're not going to save them it's not going to worth your time you guys are going to like uh, break up in two years it's going to be awful yeah don't do it i'm saving i'm saving you guys so much time right now connor just you. revealing his you. autobiography right now is this I like <laughs> i promise you i promise you i'm gonna i'm gonna save you guys so much time so make sure you're mm. subscribed leave a like in the video for all that wisdom i just dropped you're welcome um you don't deserve it but i gave it to you anyways so there we go and it's it's the connotation right like yeah, yeah. Because, because they like quote well, sorry that i was Bad. Well, I was gonna throw up air quotes, but we all blindfolded. <laughs> yeah. uh, because they like put in the work, yeah. that part being uh, air quotes, and like became yeah. uh, into a skinnier body. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's this idea Wait, like yeah. you aren't working as well. Yeah. Right. Everybody, but again, not everybody yeah. wants to yeah. work that hard. Exactly. Quote, Can we also go down the line and maybe just say if we have um, been fat or plus size most of our life, um, or if oh, it, you actually, know. that's great because yeah. I wanted to say for me it was a little bit different. Growing in South America, there isn't a lot of uh, overweight people, obese people, and I've always been curvy, so to speak, and I was fine, but I was still like, you know how they say you, I spent my skinny years thinking I was fat? So I moved to the U.S. when I was 16, and that was your I started first getting weight, you know, the life here is different. Um, I wasn't as active, I wasn't doing sports anymore, and then I was on birth control, so for me it was hormonal imbalance that made me gain a lot of weight, but it really sucked, and you know, in my own skin, I'm gonna start crying, I'm sorry. Um, you know, like being skinny and like now you're fat and like everybody treats you different. I think yeah. it's it's difficult too because um, you know I grew up fat. I've been fat my entire life and I've always envied in a way like the I like I've always wondered what it would be like to live in a thin body and how yeah, people treat you sure. different. Red like, shirt's feeling so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> yeah, bro. This is red shirt's oh. like ooh can't relate to that. Oh. This is um <laughs> bro. Listen, guys, come on. This is uh an experience you got to go through. Obviously, kids and society in general is quite quite. Mean with it obviously if you're a fat person in school you're probably just gonna get bullied the 30 percent obesity rate in america is that uh, like does is that because that, i'm pretty sure that's accurate yeah no but is that because of like older people or in is that in college nah, or well it's it's skewed like older people but that's yeah. not just because of older people it's actually 41 percent and 41 percent you <laughs> mean nearly <laughs> one in two people so if you look around there's a fat yeah. person right now there's like an obese person right now yeah in childhood 20 percent of kids what 12 percent of two to five year olds at what point is that child
I don't know. Obviously, I mean, if you usually, okay, people got mad at me for this before, but usually if the mom and dad are fat, the children is going to be raised to be fat as well. Obviously, there are exceptions, okay, and if you have a health condition, obviously. I know, okay, I know. People, dude, I hate this. Every time I say something, people point out the exception. I'm not talking about exceptions. I'm talking about generalities, okay? The general rule, okay? So Yeah, one thing I will also say, it's, it's pretty unfortunate um, that cheaper food is normally really crappy and, like, bad for you. Because, um, like, if you can't have... That's one thing I will say is, like, a lot of, like, fast food is, like, cheaper food. And if you if you don't have a lot of time to cook and or you don't have a lot of money, you're probably forced it. But yeah. That's probably what and you're And imagine coming home after, like, a 9 to 5. You're tired, super, yeah, you're nothing not gonna, to do. You're not going to want to You're not, not going to want to want to go out to your organic vegetable garden or whatever. Like, I, I get it. I Which get are it. more hard. expensive um, as well. So it's literally designed for you to be fat and lazy, yeah, okay? Dude, there is... There, I don't... There is a system in place. Like, there is a system in place that's keeping you down. It is ridiculous how much effort you have to put in to be healthy. And, like, it's so expensive. Like, protein shakes, like, you know, it's expensive stuff. You know, chicken, all of that. You gotta... It's hard. It's hard. Yeah, no, I, I spend, like... I spend a decent amount of my... Not, obviously, not a decent percentage, but a decent amount of my YouTube money on just, like... We spend 95% like of well, our vegetables money... Vegetables are expensive. On, ...on our food, actually. Actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah I actually go $100,000 in debt every... Every month um, mm. to buy ale, you know. Mm. I, I've spent a but, million dollars on protein shakes, actually. Yeah, no, but dude, I'm telling you, like, it's these like stupid <sighs> green drinks are like eight bucks. I'm like, you just took some vegetables and crushed them up. But I, I still get no, it. bro. Subway, Subway, twenty dollars for a sandwich, bro. For a foot long. Okay, Are you Subway, kidding Subway's me? Questionable. Subway's questionable. And I think that is really difficult when you, like, yeah, exactly. Like, you, I understand what you're saying. Like, you've lived both, and it's hard because you know from people who haven't it's just we don't even we can't even you fathom don't even understand. yeah no. and speaking into the whole spending your skinny years feeling like you're fat i definitely relate to that i'm a bulimia survivor um i was bulimic for about eight years and i also played volleyball and it wasn't like in theater and stuff like that and the only reason i stopped throwing up and binging and purging is because i was losing my voice oh. and i love to sing and i got nodes oh no that's oh, the worst shit. oh my oh. god I went from um, mezzo soprano was... to mezzo alto. Are we all crying now? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but yeah, like if, if it didn't affect my voice, I don't know if I would have stopped. Stop. Mm. It really broke my heart after you know having to vote people out who, in my in my heart, I knew were fat to just feel invalidated. That just that sucks. That really sucks. Dang. Damn, what? they can't get him, bro. He's a ghoul. Because <laughs> I wasn't Too good. crying. I'm sorry, y'all. So the eliminations <laughs> is something that we're wrestling with. Do you feel like it took a Yo, there's a butterfly on her. What? On her nose? What, what is going on? So the no, dude, that, that, is that, that that's a... Uh, Do you feel like oh, you're right. A there is a butterfly. Damn. It was just like being in the space where we were sharing our stories and everything felt so heartfelt, but it's just a game. But overall, it was really awesome to be in yeah, the space. Yeah, wait, cut are the bad guys here? When are that? people going to figure this out? Cut They're are the bad guys. They're taking traumatizing experiences and making it into a game. Someone Facts. is literally coming out about this stuff and then it's like, who's not the real fat one? <laughs> and then just slam the button on who's fake. I, I guess we're reacting to it too, but Shut guys. up, shut up, Connor. Well, don't don't go there. Listen, it's this is like Jigsaw, oh, right? You know, he's making them do the bad thing. You know, it's like, or is that how it works? I don't know. Whatever. Don't happen often. Maybe. Squid game. This is squid game. You don't have fat friends to talk about them with. As someone who grew up very self-conscious and didn't know where to look and turn to see people like me, I take that on as an adult to speak about these things and have these conversations that we're still confused about. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. I swear to God, if anyone's lying, oh my God, I'm so pissed. <laughs> If the lights like turn green, that means you oh boy, the mole out. bro is happy. He's bro. feeling so comfortable. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box. And you L. Oh uh, man. L. One, L. Two, three. Oh no, oh, come we lost. On. Oh, on the count of three, everyone can take off their blindfolds. <laughs> one, two, three. I f knew it. Oh, I, I f knew wow. it. Wow. 
I told a she actually she did know it. Wow. Kaylee is mad, bro. bro. Okay, can we talk about a million and one reasons why it was Derek? Okay, the only one that got me was like the theater. Like I really could relate with that. So I Same. obviously know that no, you were, like you I, really that were. That's right. I think that was true. That, no, it was true. That's what I'm saying. Dude, he's still uncomfortable. What does this even mean? They're Dude, acting like he, he's so... been fat. He knows. What are you talking about? Dude, that's the thing. That's the thing. He didn't get a chance to explain. I would understand them like attacking him. And I mean, you should never attack someone. I can understand them attacking him if they thought that like he was making this stuff up. Hmm. He doesn't even have a chance to explain. Bro is like having a full on panic attack on video and cuts like, oh, that's a good video. <laughs> <laughs> This is like, like dude, a, like a button up. When you gonna bro. realize that's the bad guy? That's all I'm saying. All right. <laughs> there is not a single. Yeah. I, so when I was in fourth grade, I was four feet tall. I was 144 pounds, and my doctor told me that I was morbidly obese, and it was a very like self-image wrecking thing for me because it was he used language that made it seem like I needed to change as opposed to just assessing where I was. Like I said, everything that I. Of course, you needed to change. You're morbidly obese, and it was affecting your health. What are you talking about? It's tough. Cause like I get like trying to like make sure that someone you shouldn't just be like you're gonna die and then like to send them off to the streets. Obviously, give them like a great support system. Like give them also a dietitian. not just like physical support, not just like physical support, but also give them like mental support. Like that's mm. probably like to get to that point. Probably something's going on. So you want to help them there too. But mm. at the same time, you can't just be like, oh yeah, as your doctor, could keep up the good work. Like uh, obviously, man, he's got a legal, yeah. he's got a moral and legal responsibility. Mm. It's like know, it's man. like but, the guy, the doctor has to do the bad work right you know he, he somebody's got to be the bad guy you know to yeah. make some positive changes talked about before was true but when we were talking about people being incredibly fat phobic that go through a transition of being in a big can we stop using that word and ending up the <laughs> quote-unquote skinnier that experience for me was i mistook the pain that came with not having self-love as being associated with a number on a scale and as i kept moving the goalposts further and further away from myself and saying like this will be when i'm happy with myself and this will be the time in my life where i like the way i look and once i do this I'll be happy with myself. I was no happier than when I started. I just kept being further and further from a goal that I was changing. I am happy not because of the way that my body looks, but because I have self-acceptance. And that's a very difficult journey for anybody to go on. And me losing any form of weight played no factor in that. I hope that in... Like no factor in that. Mm. Mm. I mean, each experience is their own, so maybe not. But I, I feel, feel like, like somebody like for a lot of people, it's 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 pretty cool, like to get to a healthier stage. I'm sure. I mean, you put in a lot of hard work and you get the result you want. A lot of people will feel pretty good. I feel like it. Derek is not being entirely truthful because there is about five, six plus size people staring him down. And he... yeah, mm. I'm not gonna lie, you kind of have a point that there might be a little bit of a bias because one, he's about to go on the internet in front of millions of people. Two, he's surrounded by people that. That will are from a certain perspective mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you know, yeah no he's probably a little biased there but also mm -hmm. i don't know maybe he does feel this way i'm not in his brand this video somebody can learn the horrible stereotype that they have of plus size people whether that be that they're lazy or sluggish or they don't eat right or they're not healthy there are people that are plus size that are faster than you there are people that are plus size that are in better conditions than the average human being again always speaking in exceptions bro there's a generality brother mm, yeah. there's a the the average fat person is not going to be faster than the the average thin person obviously yeah, there exist people that's, that's, it's that's like bro man always it is like the comment like, section does this, this everybody like does this it's like they don't want to accept an actual fact it's ridiculous it's like there's a reason why time. outliers are normally ignored when doing like statistical analysis mm -hmm. it's because they're outliers yeah it's you know like, what i mean no one bases an argument off of an outlier yeah it's like if somebody said should i become a youtuber or whatever we're gonna be like it's statistically very unlikely all right and that's mm -hmm. not us saying you know you shouldn't aspire to be one or anything. It's saying you're not going to make it most likely, you know, most likely. Yeah, so try if you want to, but don't like bet the, don't bet and, the farm And then you can be like, well, lose. Jacksepticeye guy made it. Well, he's an exception. He's an exception. We're all exceptions <laughs> yeah. here. All right. Uh, click this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Smash the like. Bye-bye.